Good morning. Good morning, friends. 5.42 a.m. Fasted cardio, done. And we even did some running. Oh yeah, buddy. And it's... Look at this. Oh, cheat day. Our favorite and day of the week. We're going on a road trip today to a mall to look around for pops and I need a new purse. And I might get some popcorn. But the main focus of today is eating. Yeah, so we're going to eat Pop-Tarts and cereal for breakfast. And cereal was on sale, so we got four brand new boxes because oh, yeah. we didn't have enough. <laughs> That sound you hear in the background is the kettle boiling for our French vanilla cappuccino. No sugar, sugar free. But I got a question for you guys. I have a dilemma in life. Oh no. Which candy bar slash chocolate bar would you pick? Because <laughs> we have a couple choices here. I think we have a whole grocery store. Hey, when they're on sale, you gotta get them. See that 50% off was the entire lineup. <laughs> oh, yes. Now my traditional favorite of all time chocolate bar is Twix. But there's a lot of ones here that I've never tried before and Nicole hasn't either. Like the white chocolate Kit Kat, which will be interesting. This one looks pretty good, that Aero Truffle thing. Oh yeah, Aero Truffle. And also Caramel Mars might be good. But I have to say, I think my all time favorite is the um, Fruit Nut. Have any of you ever tried Fruit Nut Cadbury? It is delicious. It's, you will just, if you've never tried it and you can get it where you live, you must get it. Recommended by me. You must try it. And tell me if you try it, what you think. Yep. The cereal and cappuccino. And I am choosing Nesquik and Lucky Charms, boys and girls. These are the sounds you have to make when you stir. <laughs> I'm gonna try Nesquik cereal. You are, what about me? And you, for the first time. Yep. Ever. Look at this, makes milk chocolatey. Look how happy that bunny is. Maybe I'm gonna look like that. Yep. Okay, it looks like Cocoa Puffs. It's funny, because we've had this in Canada for a long time, and out of all the chocolate mm. cereals we've had, never tried Nesquik. Smell and, it. Hold on, we'll get the friends some sniff. Okay, bacon. you guys smell it. Uh, mm. Let's you? try a dry one first. Mm. That's what they look like, little chocolate balls. I would say Cocoa Puffy. But pretty good chocolate flavor. But good. Mm -hmm. Like um, if you guys have ever had Count Chocula, the chocolate flavor. That's pretty good. That's nice. what it looks like. Yeah. Looks um. like Hank's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and these are what Cocoa Puffs look like. So, pretty yeah, similar. pretty similar. And the taste is pretty. And that's Hank down there for anybody that doesn't know. He's the star of our channel pretty much. Mm-hmm. Actually, the there is a different, different a slightly chocolate different taste. chocolate taste. Here, try the okay. Cocoa Puffs. So actually, if you guys were thinking that you wanted to try it, it's still worth it, even if you know what Cocoa Puffs taste like. Oh yeah, there is different. There's actually a distinct different taste. Yeah. Oh, good thing we have those old Cocoa Puffs in there from March. <laughs> okay, friends, now we're going to try it. A true test with some milk. Okay. And we pour milk in yours. How's that? That's good. Okay. And we're gonna eat more cereal. We just want to try this new kind, you know, by itself to give it a fair shot in life. Mmm. Pretty good. Yeah. It is good. You know, I can see where they were going with the Nesquik. Like, I can kind of get that Nesquiky chocolatey taste. That's good. Mmm. I'll try a bite. Mm. I got I'm, it. I'm so glad that I got it. It was on sale for $3.99 for that big box. Here, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I like 
like how you how you ate it for them. Sorry, Hank, you can't eat that. It's chocolate. Mmm. It's good, eh? Definitely oh, yeah. way better with the milk. Mm hmm It adds yeah. to that chocolatey. And look, they're thing. not lying about making your milk chocolate. Yeah, like it hasn't sat long in there, but it will mm. eventually probably color the whole thing. Hank, you know about it. You can't eat that, but you can eat a mini wheat. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Drying it with milk. Look, it does make your milk chocolatey. Yeah, they weren't lying. Mmm. They were tigers. Mmm. Definitely way better with milk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mmm. It is really good. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it, you should definitely try this. It's really good. Wait, they're going to try it right now. Okay, try it. Ready? Ready, guys? <laughs> I like that you made them eat it. Or you let them eat it. Well, I haven't had Lucky Charms since I was maybe six. Really? How you didn't have them before? We had them here before. No, no, we have we had chocolate Lucky Charms, but I haven't had like original. Oh. Like the OG. I haven't had that in since I was little. And when I was little, I didn't like milk. Right, so you didn't get the full experience. No. Eat a horseshoe. Mmm. <laughs> oh, they look good. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> we're what? like on cheat day we're like little kids trying like mm. cereal and well some of the some of it is for the first time but for nicole because she never ate cereal as a kid marsh she had weird things with like milk and cereal oh and God. stuff this <laughs> <laughs> is good told you this is better than the chocolate Okay, you're getting a little nuts now. Oh my god. Guys, I like Lucky Charms. Guys, <laughs> you're watching Nicole discover cereals that we all ate like for 20 years straight. Mm. But I didn't let myself eat them. So now I'm discovering them for the first time and it's amazing. It's so good. All right, I'm eating my breakfast now. Mmm. Want some milk action in there? Yeah. You sounding kind of sad. Well, I was sad because I, I want to put more cereal in it. Now, for our traditional mix of a thousand cereals. The bowl of a thousand cereals. And like, months worth. <laughs> and if you guys didn't see our other cheat day last week you need to go back and watch it because we tried the ninja turtle cereal for the first time mm. and that was very interesting mm. hey look i stole a turtle from you marshmallow left over from s'mores some of these cereals guys are like months old because we only eat once a week keep them in the bins they stay fresh they stay really fresh yeah. Mm. And I like the regular Lucky Charms are tasting better than the chocolate ones. Oh, oh, who said that? Tell me again. I think it was this fella right there. <laughs> oh, I heard, I last thing I remember somebody saying, no. Cereal games this mm. morning. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. French Toast Crunch. When did we get that in the winter? <laughs> Years ago. <laughs> I believe it was the winter of 96. <laughs> no. After the cereal's done, your breakfast is not complete until you try a Joss Lewis. Look, look, <laughs> at, look at what they put in it. Oh my, this is the best creation you ever saw. Joe Louis with peanut butter? Joe Louis. Oh, you gotta open these up. So these are new in Canada for uh, um, new peanut butter Joe Louis. Oh my. Do you, have you guys ever had a Joe Louis? And do you get peanut butter ones? Because? Yeah, I don't know if they get Joe Louis in the States. I don't know. Or in Europe or anywhere else. Hey, they're squares. What the heck? Well, I guess it shows you that on the box, but I was just a. Joe usually, Louis are always half moons. But they're, they're rectangle. Sorry, I said square. <laughs> Close enough for six in the morning. Why? Well, I wonder where they have the number one on them. Uh oh. We're, we're the guinea pigs. Yeah. We're trying the first ever Joss oh, Lewis's. Oh wait, all over <laughs> Joss Lewis. 
gives okay, so you guys a better look. I open yours. It looks like dark chocolate on the outside. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Whoa, look at that shiny chocolatey goodness. Mmm, it smells pretty. Oh, I can smell the peanut butter in there. Okay, cheers. Cheers me. Hold on. Cheers. cheers. Ready? Take a bite. Okay, friends, here I go. I can smell the peanut butter. Mm. Okay, normally mm. they have cream filling where the peanut butter is. They just replace the cream filling with peanut butter. Oh my God. That is awesome. <laughs> oh my. Mm. That is great. It's like a creamy peanut butter filling. Basically like icing mixed with peanut butter in the middle of chocolate cake. With a mm. coating on, with a chocolate coating on the outside. Mm. Oh my lord. Look! It's peanut butter heaven. Guys, they are amazing. Oh my gosh, it's not like... You know how sometimes they put like phony peanut butter? It's real peanut butter sandwiched in between... <laughs> Cut! <laughs> it's real peanut butter sandwiched in between... <laughs> Look, it's real peanut <laughs> It's real peanut butter sandwiched in between two cakes and chocolate. Or at least it tastes like real peanut mm. butter. Mmm. This is an eleven out of ten. Guys, if you get any kind of Joss Lewis, try them. But um, peanut butter ones, definitely. These ones are kicked up. A even if they're not on sale, you buy these. These are like, mmm. Wow, these are amazing. Very good. I was a big bite. <laughs> okay, now after the Joe Louis, you have to try Pop Tarts. Not try them. Try. Already tried. <laughs> Let's just label it trying because okay. we're just going to eat Pop Tarts. And since I picked the Joe Louis, Kyle gets to choose now, the Pop Tarts. In this box is not all just the peanut butter gone nutty. We actually have a mix because we just condensed boxes. Uh, I think we labeled them. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chocolate caramel. That's going down today for okay. sure. I only can do and one. And these I are. Regular gone nutty. Okay, let's start with chocolate caramel and then. Yeah, all the remainder is just the peanut butter ones. And then we'll uh, save some room for later, maybe. Some belly room. Yep. Try those chocolate. Oh, I just I gotta go get my coffee to dip it. Okay, so these are the chocolate caramel. A friend of mine picked these up for us in the states. Because we don't get them here. Chocolate caramel, they're called. And they Look at are that. Are awesome. They're so good. It's like. Really good chocolate pop tarts, like the chocolate fudge kind, with caramel in the center. So what we like to do is dip it in our cappuccino, and then eat it. Oops. Mmm. Delicious. Hey, the Lucky Charms are whole grain diet food. Mm. That was pretty good. Dip mm. the uh, chocolatey caramel, dipped in the old cappuccino. Good. If mm -hmm. you guys haven't tried dipping your pop tarts, you could probably dip them in coffee, but this uh, creamy cappuccino is really good. And then you get pop tart bits inside. It's good. Mmm. I well, like it. That was definitely the breakfast of champions. Now, belly full time. You gotta shower. This is how you wash your hair. <laughs> and then, going on a trip, I gotta get a new purse. We'll see you on the road, boys. And girls. We're on our road trip and we didn't realize how beautiful the drive was going to be. You can see like there's some beautiful um, landscaping and the water is up ahead. We're in southern Ontario, Canada and there's some really nice areas around pretty close to where we live. Yeah, but we are going to a city and we didn't expect it to be country driving. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, and so we're stopping at um, a bakery first, an Italian bakery, so I'm pretty excited. Um, they're supposed to have cannolis there. I kind of hope they have donuts, but I don't know if they will. But anyway, 
pretty excited. We're almost we're there. We're going to check it out. But I wanted to show you guys some of the beautiful view that we've been seeing. So we just got out of the brick oven bakery and it is awesome in there. A lot of cool Italian uh, baked goods and a lot of lunch meat and we'll show you what we got. So I know you told you guys, I think I've told you guys before that I'm, I'm Italian and um, I had been, I had a craving for S cookies and I know that's weird for some people but I just discovered they now have S cookies with chocolate chips in it. So I had to get it. I'm kind of scared that it might ruin the S cookie but um, they look really good. So I got some of those. Wait, look at these big, big fresh ciabatta buns. <laughs> they look so good. We're gonna have sandwiches on the road because I brought stuff to make some. Um, we have Havarti cheese, Capicolo, salami, and mortadella. And the um, salami and the Capicolo are hot. Mm. Um, and we had one more thing. We got a traditional Sicilian cannoli and an amaretti cookie for each of us, but they're sealed in a box. So when we eat them, we'll show you guys. Okay, here's the desserts. We got two traditional Sicilian cannolis and amaretti cookies. Oh man, look at the texture on those. They look delicious. Uh, these are made with almonds and Kyle's never had one before, so he gets to have the first cookie. Okay. Okay guys, here we go with my first, what is it, an amaretto or amaretti? Amaretti. Amaretti cookie. Nice big almond there. The texture looks really cool. I'll break it open for you guys. Oh, it's nice, it's soft. I don't know if you'll be able to focus on that, but it's, it looks really cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna try a bite with the almond. Here All right. Here we go. Mmm. Good? The outside is nice and crunchy, and the inside is like so moist and delicious. I thought mm. you would like them. Oh. I appreciate these. Mmm. What's that flavor in there? I taste the almond. I haven't had one in so long. Do they actually use like an amaretto? Is that why it's called amaretti? I don't know. I've never had these before. No. There, there's something mm. there. It's almond extract. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's what uh, it is. It's I delicious. Haven't, I haven't had one of these in so long. That is definitely something different that you guys need to try. Mm. I would have never known about them. My nonna used to make these. They're mm. so good. Really good. Oh, I wish I got a whole bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how good they are. Mm. Amazing. Thanks for showing me that. Thanks for trying. Once you open this box, you can't stop. No, you got to eat this one too. Mmm. This is a Sicilian cannoli, right? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Now, Sicilian means there's dried fruit in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, oh, it's so good. Mm. It's good. It's crunchy. And the filling is delicious. Creamy, they use crunchy. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta. Or however you want to say it. It's delicious. Wanna try yours? Oh mm. yes, please. I can grab it. Thank you. Welcome. Got a shot of it in the, in the light. They don't shy on the cream. No. Mm. No, these are so good. I do like the ones with chocolate chips in them too, but can't beat this. Mmm. <laughs> Good? Mmm. Oh, these are delicious. You guys gotta try cannolis. If you if you haven't had them before. Italian food, I might be a little biased, but Italian bakery food is like the best thing ever on the planet. Amazing. Mmm. Good stuff. It's so good. The the um the crunchy oh. <laughs> outside cookie part tastes like the best waffle cone, the sweetest, best waffle cone you ever tasted in your life. Mm -hmm. And the inside is like creamy uh, heaven. It's so good. This cannoli reminds me of the bakery I used to go to when I was little. Okay guys, it is lunchtime at 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> you and got hungry. 
we are both digging into our big, meaty, greasy, not greasy really, but big Italian mm. sandwiches with a big ciabatta bun and some salami, Genoa. Mmm, good. Mm-hmm. Everything is so fresh and delicious. Oh, yeah. I'll show you what I put on here. Three different kinds of meats, some spicy stuff, some ham, some Ham? Butter. No, mortadella. Oh, jeez. We're eating popcorn. We got it for a dollar at Food Basics, and it tastes like carnival popcorn. And it's it looks delicious. like it. You would never know that 99 cent popcorn would be this good. Oh my gosh. Sandwiches and popcorn. Carnival popcorn. And our meat has the best kick in our sandwich. Nice and spicy. Mmm. And we're, we're eating lunch down by the bay. Mmm, we're enjoying our lunch. Mmm. It's very good. I was just telling Kyle, whenever I, when I was little, and whenever I would go to my Nona's or any of her friends' houses or any of our Italian relatives' houses. Um, generally, when you stay over at an Italian family's place, usually around anywhere from 10 to midnight, we always would have um, like snacks. Like, and it, it wouldn't be just like what you think is a snack, like chips or popcorn. It would actually be this fresh bread, fresh buns, lunch meat. Um, Italian fresh lunch meat and um, fresh cheese and and fruit and it was delicious it was my favorite one of my favorite memories growing up so you guys are with us on the full Italian lunch experience here I told Kylie was getting the full no nut <laughs> <laughs> it's dinner time I got my fancy apron on look at that oh Whoa, let's get a wide shot of that and I made this myself Yes, I did. And look at what we're having for dinner. Chili cheese dogs. Yep. We did show you guys this in another video, but it's so good, we're having it again. We're doing a repeat dinner because and we loved it so much. Last time, we had it with potato wedges. This time, we're having lattice fries, but they're still cooking. Yep, we got burgers too. Can make a chili burger maybe if you like. If you like, but right now, some chili, hot one. We got a can chili. It's a stag dynamite hot chili. And cheese sauce. Some Tostitos cheese sauce to go on top. And of course the one and only Juicy Jumbos. Oh yeah, we like them char broiled. Mmm, time for dinner. There it is. Mmm. Oh yeah. So good. You have to wear an apron when you're wearing white. You'll get dirty. <laughs> and it's a fancy apron. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? That's the apron, Dan. <laughs> Eat your chili dog. I'm going to, right now. Watch this. One. Two. Three. These are the spicy lattice fries. Four. Oh, yep. There Nacho cheese sauce on the spicy fries. Mmm. Good idea. Thanks. You always knew about me and good ideas. <laughs> Ice cream cone power for dessert. <laughs> I have had a craving for waffle cones lately and I really had a craving for Neapolitan ice cream this week and it, the Chapman's kind was on sale for $2.99 so this is my dessert for today. And I had my uh, Ben and Jerry's already. I couldn't wait. So I had my ice cream finisher to our cheat day. <laughs> yep, but I wanted to wait because I was a little bit full. So now I'm feeling ready for some ice cream. We went for a nice little walk. It's beautiful outside. And now my belly's ready. And I am enjoying some lemon water. Sparkling lemon water. Um, so that's good. Yeah. I'm, uh, Cheers, guys. Mm. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. And don't do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Because if you don't, you know about my face do. Yeah, you do. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, friends. Mmm.